Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tevron here and welcome back to Slay the Spire where we have a rather awesome poison deck going. Not a ton of poison cards in it, but two triple catalysts. Upgraded all the poison cards except for Poison Stab, which I'm actually not thrilled that we've got in our deck, but at the time it seemed okay. Also got a bunch of energy adding relics up here. Um, give our opponents strength for energy. Can't gain gold, but we get energy, and we traded our starting relic for energy, and we can't see enemy intents, so we do have to be a little careful. I've also scouted out this map. The most elites that we can hit is two, so I think our best route is to go up through here, hitting several question marks. We do want to hit a shop, even though we can't gain gold. If we could buy one more decent relic, that would be nice. Then I think we're going to go up here and hit this. Uh, maybe the campfire, just depending on how we're doing at that point. Hit this elite, we'll go up and hit this campfire and then an elite, and then just continue on our merry way. Let's do it. Alright, these guys, we need to try to kill all of them together, because if they die and then we don't finish the others off before two turns, then it comes back at half health. It's not too big a deal, though. We definitely want an after image. Uh, we will Crippling Poison here. We don't know who's attacking and who may be blocking. They may be all doing both or the same thing. Defend. I really don't want to play Catalyst this early, but I would like to be able to play my Masterful Stab this turn, so let's do it. Then we'll Masterful Stab this one and hopefully not take too much damage this turn. All right, hit for 12. Block, block, great, that is exactly what we wanted to see. We took one damage, so backflip for sure. Hmm, we do want to blur to roll our block over. Let's strike, we want to try to get their health sort of even. Then we will just defend, and survivor is basically the same as a defend plus now, but that's all our energy, so... There we go. All right, so this one's going to die without us doing a single other thing the turn after next. Well, we took some damage. Not the best. All righty. Well, let's escape plan. We do want to backflip. A uh, bouncing flask. Okay, that's fine. So this one's going to die for sure. Then we've got one more turn to finish the other two off. Let's prepare ourselves. I'm going to discard this strike. And the acrobatics. Then we are going to neutralize here for the weakness. I'm going to go ahead and catalyst this one. Then we will noxious fumes and defend. I think that's pretty good there. So now we only have to worry about this one. This one should die before this one's come back at half health triggers, I hope. Can we finish you off? So that's nine, it's 29. Yeah, that should be exactly enough. And oh, we got a pin nib hit in there. So it's, it's actually more than enough. Great. Defend just in case. Not even going to bother with Nightmare. And it did. Great. I was afraid that maybe the comeback would trigger before the poison ticked, but that wasn't the case. Uh, do we want another Catalyst Plus? I mean, there's such a thing as too much of a good thing, but I don't think we're there yet, so let's take it. And then we will go this direction because I want these question marks. <clears throat> Alrighty. So this guy adds burns to our deck. Always want to start with after image. Um, I think we're going to nightmare noxious fumes. Then we're going to noxious fumes and defend and hopefully not take too much damage here. we took a bit. 
Took a bit. We may have to use these campfires to heal ourselves. That's a ton of poison. Flask. Fumes. 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 Uh, catalyst, please. Escape plan for potential block. Yep, we got it. Defend. And this guy's toast. Sadly, he actually dealt some damage to us that turn. But that is it for him. Oh uh, yeah, we don't want a base catalyst. We don't want any of these. Not a fan of deadly poison at all. Bottom tier poison card in my opinion. <clears throat> Alright, so we can fight for a relic. Yep, let's fight for a relic. Basically, another elite that just wasn't marked. So, yep, for sure, after image, we can play out everything. Uh, we want to weaken this one. Fumes. Strike. These add dazed to our deck, so we want that to not happen. Also, I guess a little bit of weak would help. So there's that. I'm going to pop this block potion because I don't want to take damage if we can help it. Okay, that hurt. That really hurt. And there's some dazed. Alrighty. Well, we'll start with a prepared. Get rid of that, even though if we keep it in our hand, it will... Um, evaporate it's ethereal I think we're gonna pitch a strike though the strike would make it easier to kill this guy escape plan all right catalyst seems okay let's start with a bouncing flask hmm all right we will catalyst here and defend and survivor And this fight is almost over. If we can just avoid taking too much damage, that would be awesome. All the days. Don't need to worry about this one. The poison's going to finish it off. Sadly, we can't Masterful Stab. And Catalyst almost gets there. No use to play Nightmare here. Uh, sadly, we're probably going to take some damage because this one's probably attacking. Could have just played it, I suppose, for the one block. But it's not. It's adding days, so no more damage. Great. Just what we wanted. Uh, just in case the burn hits us when we end our turn, which I think it will, we're going to put up all this block. Yep, there we go. Excellent. Frozen Eye lets us see our draw pile in order. That's potentially useful. Fire potions, great for elites and for bosses. Malaise. Always a fan of a malaise. Also a fan of choke, honestly. In a, a deck that isn't poison-based like ours, choke is an excellent attack card. Prepared's fine, but I think our pick here is malaise. Wish it was a malaise plus, but you take what you can get, I suppose. We'll continue forward. Oh, this is a new... Enemy, I haven't seen you before. Must have been patched in recently, Serpent. Don't know what this one does. So we'll just be extra careful. Let's after image. Go ahead and prepare. And I think we're going to discard our strikes. Escape plans. All right. Just take all the block that there is. All right, it is attacking for... 18. Ouch, that guy hits hard. And now we get all our poison. So, we didn't attack last turn, so we've got an extra energy. Crippling poison. And this should kill it, right? Up to 190 something? 202 even? Yep, die. Well, that's impressive. 
All right, would we rather have a weak potion than a second dex potion? Nope, I think I would like to pop both of these dex potions versus the boss. And I don't want any of those, so I'll take the health upgrade, plus the minor bit of healing it's going to give us. All right, so we can lose all our gold and gain a relic. This relic is a mask that puts one week on each enemy at the start of combat. I think I'm willing to hold on to my gold and try to get a better relic at the shop coming up. So, so no thank you. And if there is not a relic we want, then I'm fine with just removing like a strike plus from our deck. What have you got? More energy on the very first turn of combat? That seems okay. Footwork seems fine. Alchemize is a great card to get early on and get a random potion every battle. So the question is, do we want six energy on the first turn of combat? Or do we want to remove a strike plus? Because that's not really what our deck's about doing. Would make it where we get to our poison cards more consistently. Um, I think I'm just going to remove a strike. And some of you may not like that, but I think that's probably just best for our deck. Would like it if we could just remove all of these strikes, to be honest, and just rely on our poison, but we're not going to have that opportunity. Um, would we want an energy potion instead of one of these? Uh, I am a little tempted to take the footwork. The extra block is great for us. So, yeah, we'll take the footwork too. So we'll replace a strike with a footwork. Seems good. Then we are going to hit... I think I'm going to hit the campfire and heal before I go after another elite. Just to be perfectly safe. Rest, we should go to full. Especially with the regal pillow helping us out there, and we do. So let's tackle this elite. All right, two of these guys are a problem sometimes. So let's start with an after image. Prepared. And we are going to discard the catalyst. I don't think I want to play it yet. And I suppose the malaise? Yep, we'll discard the malaise. We will Bouncing Flask. And I'm going to pop one of these Dex Potions too. And then we're just going to get as much block as we possibly can. Well, all of the poison went on one of them. I suppose that's good. If we had a specimen, I'd be much more happy with it. We took some damage there, which is not the best. Let's start with a backflip. Catalyst. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to Catalyst here. We probably could have Catalysted last turn and been fine with it. Yeah, let's do that. Um, we got five. So we just play our hand out here. Try to finish this guy off if we can. This is not going to get it done, so I think we're justified in weakening the one that's going to be around for longer. And this will kill this one with the poison tick. Yep, that seems good. I mean, we're basically gods now, if you hadn't noticed. We've basically ascended and become a god. Alrighty, well, crippling poison. Go ahead and Catalyst. I think that's fine. We still have one more Catalyst in our deck. We'll Defend. Blur. Poison Stab. Actually messed up there. Got a little happy with my card playing. Could have got an additional six poison added with the Catalyst. But it's going to be fine. Don't worry, guys. It's going to be fine. We've got this. Uh, sure, we'll just play out everything. Footwork. Fumes. Strike. Strike. Defend. And we shouldn't take any more damage. Hmm. 
Well, those are a bit of an issue, but defend should take care of it, so end turn. And we got out of that elite fight taking 10 damage. Not bad. Ornamental fan. Every time we play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. It's fine. Would be better if we weren't on the deck that we're on, but we'll take it. Uh, yeah, don't want any of these. We'll take the health upgrade. And then... I'm not sure how the our, the relic generation goes. If no matter what chest we go to, it's randomly rolled right then. Or if every chest that shows here has its relic put in from the very beginning. So, I mean, it may matter which of these we go to and it may not. But as it is, we have no way to tell. So let's go right. <clears throat> Bronze scales, that's fine. That's actually pretty good with what we're doing since we don't want to be attacking. And yep, yeah, don't want these. So we're going to head this way. We want the extra campfire for upgrades. These slimers again. So for sure, after image into prepared, we'll discard strike. And the catalyst. Backflip. Um, let's acrobatics first. Discard the other catalyst. Then we do want to get our poison going, so we'll do that. And defend for the extra block. Hopefully not taking too much damage here. <clears throat> All right, two of them at least defending, so we shouldn't be taking any. All right, uh, this one has the least poison on it. Well, they're sort of tied, but it's got armor, so crippling poison. I guess we'll poison stab here. We're going to defend. And then these guys for sure are attacking because they blocked last turn, so I'm going to malaise this one. And I think that's fine in the turn. All right, five from you. A little bit more from you and blocking there. So that's good. Didn't take too awfully much damage. So catalyst, is that worth doing? Well, I think it is worth nightmaring catalyst for next turn. Then we're going to blur defend and we're going to catalyst the one with the most poison this turn and end so this one's dead for sure coming up and these should be as well since we've got three catalysts coming and yep catalyst maybe not though say catalyst so strike you, so that makes you dead, and we'll just catalyst you. And throw up some block, and end the turn. Great. Don't want any of these. We'll continue to take the health upgrades. I think our deck is fine as is. We'll go here. I don't think we need to heal, so we're going to upgrade. So do we upgrade Nightmare? That will lower its cost to two. We could upgrade Footwork and make it three decks. Upgrade Malaise. Do X plus one. I think we're going to upgrade Nightmare because it's the most fun. Even with as much energy as we have, it is a lot of energy to be casting, so two is a lot easier than three. Hello, Head. So this guy does not a ton of damage until he finishes his countdown, which is five turns, I think. And then he starts unloading. Hopefully we can get this over before then, as always, after image. Into backflip. Into unload most of the rest of our hand. Seems like a good first turn. Not nearly as good as if we'd had a bouncing flask. Alrighty, well, we're going to do the standby at this point. Nightmare for Catalyst. 
and we will catalyst and just set up to pretty much in this combat on the next turn. All right, so we've got four catalysts in hand. So we can play those plus the crippling poison. So we are going from 15 poison to Twelve hundred and fifty-five poison. How you like them apples, head? I like them very much myself. Letter opener. Three skills. Deals five damage to all enemies. Now that's much more in line with the build we've got. And, uh, yeah. For the first time in a while, I am going to take a proferred card. I'm a huge fan of well-laid plans. And on we go. So we have to lose a card here. We are falling, we begin to fall. So, oh, this is not even a detriment. I want to lose a strike plus. Thank you very much. And one more combat, then a campfire, which we will probably use to upgrade something unless we take a ton of damage here for some reason. Going to after image. Let's start with the prepared after the after image. I will get rid uh I will get rid of a strike and the masterful stab. Then we will escape plan. Defend. Bouncing flask. And I am going to go ahead and catalyst since we've got so many of them in our deck now. 49 poison on turn one seems okay to me. Yeah, you roar. Roar as loud as you want. Ain't nobody here gives a flying flip about anything you got to say. And no damage being taken this fight, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, I'm going to defend just in case something weird happens. Kind of paranoid about it. Awesome. It was not 1,255 poison like that one time, but you know what? We'll take it. Uh, add a card. Nope, not adding a card. On to here. Now the question is, what do we upgrade? Well laid plans would let us retain two cards. So, at this last boss, maybe malaise is worth taking? Maybe a better backflip? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade footwork for the dex bonus. Seems fine. Any number of things there could have been correct, I'm not sure. I'm also just fairly sure we're going to wreck these guys. The artifact they start off with is a problem. But we should be able to blow through that a bit quickly here. Uh, we want to pop all these potions. We'll save this one for whichever one that we can finish off the quickest. So always start with after image into backflip. Well laid plans for sure. Uh, neutralize to break a little bit of the artifact there. Defend. Since we've already done damage here, we'll keep doing it. Strike. Masterful stab, and in the turn. Noxious fumes this next turn would be awesome, that way we can start wearing this artifact off. Alrighty. Well, we want to footwork for sure. And backflip. So, crippling poison here gets rid of the last artifact on that. And we get the weakness applied. Then we will for sure blur and strike. We don't want to use catalyst since there's no poison that's been applied yet, sadly. Uh, and we will keep the catalyst. All right, still not taking damage, though that's going to change quickly. All righty. 
Well, we could Nightmare Catalyst, but we're not for sure to draw poison. Let's, let's start with Acrobatics. Um, let's discard the one defend, and we're going to escape plan. Poison Stab is a little bit of poison. Prepared. There's some poison. So let's discard Malaise and Poison Stab for now. So we've got five, so we could Nightmare Catalyst plus Bouncing Flask. That would leave us completely open to damage this turn. Let's start off with the Bouncing Flask. And just see where it goes. Okay, so some there. Broke all the artifacts there, so we've got eight poison here. So this would take it to 24. Huh. I think that we're going to Nightmare the Catalyst, but we're not going to cast the Catalyst this turn. We're just going to defend, so at least get a little bit of block. And we'll retain the Catalyst. Right. Well, that one's blocked. Well, they, this one blocked and attacked. So the defend was nice since we got hit for a lot there. All right, that's a ton of catalysts. I do kind of wish I had a little bit of poison applied here. Well, for sure, we're going to apply catalysts until this guy is going to die. All right, so that that one is dead. Deca is going to die for sure. So we want to play Noxious Fumes, and we'll Survivor away the Masterful Stab since we can't play it in anyway. Then we're just going to end our turn and retain one of these Catalysts. And now this should not be hard at all. I don't think one of them can do enough on its own to really pose an issue for us. Um, Discard... A dazed, even though it would go away if we kept it in our hand. We want to Bouncing Flask. And we will for sure Catalyst. Neutralize, Strike Blur, all that good stuff in the turn. Now we just need to draw some of our other Catalysts that are right here. Though we may not even need that. Malaise seems okay. Let's start with a backflip. Into a prepared. And we will discard a couple of strikes. And we'll backflip again. And we'll use a poison stab. And then I'm going to malaise for three. Just cut down on the damage output it's capable of. Seems fine. Just buys us a little time, which we don't need a lot because it's almost dead. And that is that. Doesn't really matter. We don't need to retain anything because this run is over. We got an achievement. The Shapes. I think that's the first time I've defeated those two. I think I've lost to them several times, though. Thump, 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 thump. A deep. Pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire? The source of this evil? You prepare your daggers. You deal 630 damage. The heart squirms and bleeds, but is ultimately still pounding. Are your mightiest attacks not enough? You ask yourself, have I been here before? You feel that you have dealt a total of 1,871 damage to the heart. A total of 613 odd million damage has been dealt by all those who have challenged it. The heart pulses louder and louder as your consciousness fades. Victory. And there is our score, 630. We have one unlock remaining on the silent. And I am very happy with this run. I hope you guys had a fun time watching. I certainly had a fun time playing. And next time, I suppose we'll go on an Ironclad run, even though I enjoy playing Ironclad much less than the Silent. I want to give both of them at least a fair shake. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like below, it really does help tremendously. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. 
I have been Tevron, and until next time, friends, be excellent to each other. <laughs>